even if you mess up right now, the worst thing that could happen is that you learn from it. Or you could burn down the house. <laughs> no, you're not going to do that. Malay, malay, malay. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Countertop Stories with La Germania. So you'll notice that Jim isn't with me today. That's because I'm doing something very special. You know, he's always working so hard on his businesses. He's taking care of the kids, always asking me if I need anything that he could help with. And I just wanted to, you know, just randomly show my appreciation for him because it's just really like the best husband ever. So the recipe that I'm going to show you today is his favorite cookie recipe. Yes, that's right. I created the best cookies in Jim's opinion. I don't know if he's just biased because I made it or if they really taste good. But I've heard from other people that they're really good. <laughs> so before we start, I'm gonna tell you guys, calm down if you're a beginner, just like me. It's okay. This recipe, you're not gonna have to be an expert to be able to do it. It's the easiest simplest thing you don't even have to have any electric mixer whatever stuff you just have to have a good oven because that just makes all the difference and that's my tip number one for you beginner bakers out there you have to get to know your oven there are different ovens different sizes different functions it's important that you get to know your oven because it's really gonna affect the quality of what you're making. And later on, I'm gonna show you how I specifically preheat my oven. Tip number two, you have to understand what makes things work. Like for example, Jim doesn't enjoy airy cookies, airy anything. He doesn't like anything with air in it. And that's all about how you mix things. You don't wanna overmix because that's gonna introduce air into it. The most important tip that I can give you is to keep trying. It's all about trial and error to get that perfect cookie. And that's what happened to me. The worst that could happen, maybe you'll fail, but then you'll learn for next time. All right? In a large bowl, you're gonna whisk together the sugars, the salt, and the butter until you form a paste without any lumps. And then you're gonna add the egg and vanilla, beating it until these light ribbons fall off the whisk and remain for a short while before falling back into the mixture. Just like this. Get your sifter and sift in your flour and baking soda, then fold your mixture with a spatula. Make sure you don't overmix. This is very, very important if you don't want your cookies to be airy or cake-like. Now get your chocolate chunks of choice. It can be semi-sweet, dark chocolate, honey butter, scotch, whatever kind of chocolate you want, peanut butter. Don't put in the whole eight ounces of chocolate. You wanna do it little by little. And then you put it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. I like to keep it there for at least an hour. The longer you keep it in the fridge, the more complex the flavor. Okay, so it's been an hour and a half since it's been chilled in the fridge and now we're gonna preheat our La Germania oven. First, you're gonna set it to this preheat function. I'm gonna put it to 180. When this light goes out, that means it's done preheating. And that's when I'm gonna put the cookies in. Line your baking sheet with parchment paper. Scoop the dough with an ice cream scoop or whatever you have. Make sure there's enough space in between each ball because it's gonna spread out and that's thanks to the baking soda. Okay, so the light is off. That means it's done preheating. You're gonna move this to this setting, which means that the heat is evenly distributed throughout the whole oven. We can now put the cookies inside. It's very important that you're precise with your baking because it makes all the difference. That's why it's important to have glass door for your oven so that you can see what's happening. And definitely you have to have good lighting inside so that you see how your cookies are looking. You know, you can't stay here for 12 to 15 minutes and just stare at your cookies. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. It's really nice that this oven has a timer and you can set the alarm.
Now let's call on Jim so he can taste the cookies. Hey, do you want? Yeah. <laughs> nice. I got you. I made you my cookies. Ah, nice. Oh, whoa. whoa. Nice. <laughs> As usual. The best. Are these really the best cookies you've had? I swear. Promise. Is it just because I'm cute? Well, that's a promise. I swear. <laughs>